A houseboat holiday on the backwaters of Kerala sounds oh so romantic and it definitely was an unforgettable experience for local stage and screen star Samantha Pio. She loves Indian culture as she recently revealed to Michelle. She rocked as Roxy Hart in Chicago and she's also been a thoroughly modern Millie, not to mention a dozen or so other sweet-voiced ladies in top South African musicals. Samantha Pio's consummate ability to deliver a song while creating a stage persona is just one of her many talents. Michelle met up with Samantha at a modeling shoot. South African audiences will know Samantha Pio as a judge on the wildly popular Strictly Come Dancing, but she's also one of the most successful musical theater entertainers in the country. She's recently spent some time in India, so I'm curious to find out more about her Indian adventure, which seems to continue right here in South Africa. Samantha was modeling a range of classically elegant ethnic ensembles for online entrepreneur Preetha Fakir. Preetha, what was the look and feel that you were going for here today? I wanted the very summery look and the colors that embody summer and I tried to bring out more the spring flowers as well uh, on a headband, exactly matching the outfit, the colors of the outfit. Hello. Lovely to meet you. And you too. How do you feel wearing a traditional garb like this? For a Westerner, this really is something so special. I mean, it does, it feels like a special occasion, so I just feel blessed, I really do. Samantha, <laughs> you've got another look, so I'm gonna let you get to it. Okay, brilliant. <laughs> I'll see you now. Thank you. Oh, there we go. You've worked hard enough. I think we should go eat. I agree. Bless you. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Brian. <laughs> oh. Samantha, I've promised you food and it's arrived. <laughs> I am a man of my word. Thank you. Oh, wow. Samantha, you wear so many hats, singer, dancer, actor. Which one would you say is the number one? I think it would be a hard one to choose either singing or acting or dancing, and that's why I've gotten into musical theatre when I did, because it is everything. You know, it's a triple threat. So it's singing, dancing and acting, and I find that now I really enjoy the art of singing and telling stories through song. So, yeah. That would be me. Growing up, did you always know that this is what you wanted to do as a kid? You know, I grew up in a creative family and my mom used to play the guitar at home and we used to sing. And then I started dancing as well when I was really young. So I wanted to be a dancer to start with. And then I guess it just, I just kind of fell into it, you know? So it wasn't something that I planned on, on doing or being, but the more I did it, the more I loved it. And um, I, just, I was just lucky. Samantha, what would your big break have been in the industry? I've had a couple, I would say. Um, the first one would be a leading role that I played was, was Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. And then the next one obviously was Chicago. Samantha, tell me more about your trip to India. This was sort of my first real big holiday. And it just was, it was magical. What parts of India did you travel through? The south, south India. So we arrived in Delhi and then went all the way down. So Kerala, we actually stayed on our houseboat overnight. It was stunning. It was incredible. It felt like every two days we were moving off. It was like a road trip, moving off to a new destination. And each place had a really special vibe about it. Atmosphere, it was different from the day before. It really was magical for me, and if I could go back and do the whole of India, go north this time, I'll, I'll definitely, definitely do it. What was it about the Indian culture that was so special for you? It just feels like a very holistic kind of um, experience, and it also was deeply spiritual, very peaceful in, in place. I, I found myself really just being able to connect to myself, because I love that whole Eastern philosophy, you know, the fact that self-development is within you, it's not, without, it's not outside of yourself. Um, it just really spoke to me. It's a challenge in industry, but what words of encouragement would you say to all those considering joining the creative arts? 
follow your passion. That's exactly it. And as long as you're doing that, you are doing what you're supposed to do. I think whatever talent you're born with, that's your purpose in life. And if you can use it for the betterment of everything and everyone and your growth, or power to you. Amen to that. Samantha, it's been an absolute thrill. Thank you so much for your time. Such a pleasure. Thank you. One last thing. Mm. Namaste. Oh, namaste. Namaste.